السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome dear students to our English class. So today we are learning about uh, listening and reading, right? So we start with the short I. Okay. I'm very sure that you can still watch the video about for the Janada from the Janada about short I. But for here, I just wanna give you a little bit of reminder. Okay, just to refresh your mind, right? The I. In this here, the sound of I will be E, right? E. Okay, so let's try. Big, 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 fig, 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 pin, pin, pin. Very good. Okay. So the new uh, letters that we want to learn for today is CH. Okay. If we see CH together, how we can read them? Cha. Cha. Very good. So CH together is Cha. Right? Okay. Let's see examples for CH. Cha. Okay. We have here CH. Okay. How are we going to read this one? Chick. 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 What is a chick? It's a small chicken, right? Chick. Very good. Okay. This one. Chair, chair, chair. What is a chair? Okay, it's something that you sit on, right? Very good. Chair, chat, chat, chat. What is chat? Okay, it's when you talk with someone. Very good. So, chat. All right. We also have these letters S, H. So sometimes they also come together. S H. When they come together, how we can read? Sh. Very good. Sh. 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 Right. Let's try here. We have. We have here S and H. Right. Fish. Fish. We don't say fish. Right. No. They are together, so we call them sh. Fish. Fish. Very good. This one. Sharp. 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 Very good. Last one. Shoe. 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 Very good. Okay. So let's try one more time again together. SH will be CH. Sorry. CH will be CH. SH will be SH. Right. Let's try all the words together. Chick. 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 Chair. 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 Chat. 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 Fish. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Sharp, shoe, shoe, shoe. Very good. All right. Okay. So practice these words at home and try to find any other objects or any other words that have the letters ch and sh. Okay. And try to write them. Right. Very good. Okay. So come here. Okay. So today we also wanna. Learn about something new. I'm very sure you know. You have learned it before. But let's try. Okay. Today we're going to learn something called about tongue twisters. Tongue twisters. What is a tongue twister? Tongue twisters usually is a sentence where they have similar words or words that rhyme. Okay. Some of them they start with the same letter. Some of them they end with the same letter. So that makes your tongue twist okay try and read them okay so let's start to practice these three tongue twisters okay and you need to repeat and repeat and repeat only then it can be smooth in your tongue okay first we're gonna do it slowly slowly one uh, word by one word okay we have six sisters sing to six sick sheep how many s is here six sisters sing to six 
sick she right do you see the six sisters and they have six sick sheep so they sing for them okay let's try to read that a little bit faster six sisters sing to six sick sheep sheep six sisters sing to six sick sheep one last time six sisters Sing to six sick sheep. All right. Let's try to read them a little bit faster. Six sisters sing to six sick sheep. Six sisters sing to six sick sheep. Six sisters sing to six sick sheep. Do you see how your tongue will get confused? Did I say sick or six or did I say sisters or sheep? Okay, that's the, the point of twin tongue twisters, right? Tongue twisters. Okay, they have similar words that make you a little bit confused. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time very fast. And then we're going to go to the next sentence, right? Six sisters sing to six sick sheep. Very good. Try it. Let me see how you do it. All right. So let's try the second one. Okay. How many sticks can a pig? Chick kick. Okay, one more time, very slowly. How many sticks can a pig? Uh, sorry, a big chick kick. How many sticks can a big chick kick? Right? Do you see this big chick? Okay. How many sticks that it can kick? Okay. So let me try to read them a little bit faster. Okay. How many sticks can a big chick kick? Right? How many sticks can a big chick kick? How many sticks can a big chick kick? Right. I'm going to try them a little bit faster. How many sticks can a big chick kick? How many sticks? Can a big chick kick? How many sticks can a big chick kick? All right. Okay. Try to do them at home. But for one last time, I'm going to read it very fast. How many sticks can a big chick kick? Okay. Very good. Okay. One last one. Okay. We have one last sentence. I think this one is the smallest one. Okay. Pick a big fig. Pick a big fig. Pick. A big fig. Okay, do you see? He's picking a big fig. Very good. Okay, let's try to do them a little bit faster. Pick a big fig. Pick a big fig. Pick a big fig. Okay, one more time, very fast. Pick a big fig. Pick a big fig. Pick a big fig. Okay. Try to uh, this this tongue twisters and see which one you can master. Can you master the first one? Six sisters sing to six six sheep, or how many sticks can a big chick kick, or pick a big pick. Okay. Try to record one of these uh, tongue twisters that we are making and share it with me through Class Dojo. Right. I hope you enjoy our class today. And I'll see you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.